Hey guys, what's up? Today is a special wine tasting. From the title, you've seen that these are my Taurus season wines. Also, my birthday week wines. We're going a little over our usual budget of 300 pesos. This is a birthday treat after all. So these would actually be under 700 pesos already. Moving up in the world. <laughs> yup, I know that's nothing in the wide world of wines. But working with wines under 700 pesos and three of them here would only be good as a birthday treat for me. <laughs> I'm excited to share these with you. I've been saving these for quite a while and I just didn't know when to open them and I was like, ah, my birthday week. Right. Right. And why Taurus wine to ask? Well, coming from my astrologically inclined girlfriend, Tauruses are very practical, very financial, but are also very indulgent of themselves. So yes, for my birthday week and Taurus season wines, why not? I'm gonna have these pretty expensive wines to drink tonight. Alright, so let's get started. So the first wine is from Brancott Estate. It's a Sauvignon Blanc from Marlborough in New Zealand. And personally, Marlborough, New Zealand has been sort of my gateway white wine. I never really liked white wine until I started tasting Sauvignon Blanc from Marlboro. For me, it's been the game changer. It just made me appreciate white wine better. Let's give this guy a try. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Classic Marlboro. Again, it's that passion fruit pungent, almost like a fruit going bad. A lot of pineapple, pear, grass. Quite similar to the Sauve Blanc that I shared with you in my previous video, the one coming from Matua. A little more towards yellowish gold. Uh, out here in Marlboro country, So refreshing guys, if you haven't tried Sauve Blanc from Marlboro, it just works. Oh. I think we can end this birthday wine video on just this. I shall come back to that. So this is actually a 2018 vintage. Brancott Estate has actually changed their logo recently. So I'm gonna be keeping this bottle. I feel like this logo is a collectible. The second wine that we have is a California wine from Lodi. We haven't really featured a lot of California wine here, mostly because they're generally expensive. <laughs> the labor and the land in the United States, I think it's generally more expensive, and especially California wine. It's usually a hit or miss because a lot of the vineyards are there for big mass production, especially if you're buying it here in the Philippines. Even when you're buying expensive California wines, they end up being not so good and too commercially produced. So yeah, that's a lot to say about California. This is from the popular brand called Gnarly Head. And this is a 2018 vintage. This is an old vine Zinfandel. To be honest, I wasn't too much of a Zinfandel drinker. My impression of Zinfandel then used to be mixed a lot with, you know, like the alcohol pop wine. I thought Zinfandel was like an outright sweet wine. It actually isn't. It's just been used as a blend. I liked Zinfandel when I came across the Primitivo varietal from Italy. I found out that Primitivo and Zinfandel are actually the same. And this is interesting because this bottle is made from old vines. As an older vine, it doesn't yield as much produce. These are kept around because they still have some value producing wines that are distinct in themselves. So what do you think guys? It's a little purpley, I guess. Ooh, uh, it smells of high alcohol. Lots of berries, a little bit of leather. I think some people might find this sweet. It's not outright sweet, don't get me wrong, but it has a sweetness that's balanced with a lot of bitterness. Quite tart for a for a red wine. So as a Sinfandel, it's a very medium finish. It's not very spicy, but I like it because the flavors are a right balance of flavors. Nothing is really overpowering one another. 
it does put together a lot of flavors in terms of again berries, oak, leather, a little bit of cinnamon. Very adaptable, could go with a lot of food pairings. I think this is worth it. For the third bottle, we go back to my favorite wine region again in Australia. This will be Penfolds from Kununga Hill and this is from McLaren Vale from South Australia and South Australia being one of the more uh, central points of wine production. For those really into wine, you know that Penfolds always comes out with a good product. This one from Kununga Hill is actually their entry level wine. This one is really purpley. This Penfold is a 2019 Shiraz Cabernet. If you've watched a few of my previous videos, you know that Shiraz Cabernet is one of my preferred blends. Australia's been always the go-to in terms of Shiraz and Cabernet Sauvignon. So when they come together under an award-winning producer such as Penfolds, then it makes me really excited. Classic Australian, so much berries, fruity but dry, and that's always an interesting mix. And this one, as a Shiraz Cabernet, is a lot more full-bodied, just subtly spicy. It's not, it's not like an outright spicy Shiraz. I can feel myself wanting some meat, encouraging you to have a meaty dish, a meaty barbecue, some meaty steak, some brisket. This thing is just painting the glass purple. So anyway, so that's just about it for my birthday wines this year. So how would I rate it? This is a 9 for me. I'm a little biased. This is my favorite right now. These whites are what I've been drinking. The Old Vines in from Gnarly Head. 8.7. It's a bit of a surprise to me, to be honest. Then the Shiraz Cabernet from Penfolds. I would give this an 8.5. Yeah, I'm surprised that I'm rating this a little lower in today's tasting. I think because it's the least surprising one. So these all came from SNR, and again, you don't have to be a member to buy from SNR. I bought this from Picaroo, the new delivery service, and used my link to get 250 pesos off your first order. Use my code MARK7188. And yeah, so these are Taurus wines. And I wanted to ask you guys, maybe you could write down below, what's your moon and rising? My moon and rising would be both Gemini, so I'm a Taurus. Gemini, Gemini, um, what's yours? You could look that up. If you're curious to know more about that, I could probably bring in Janessa again. So thanks for watching, guys. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And happy drinking. Thanks and happy Taurus season.